guys, it's Kylie, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to find the value of a Disney pin. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to find the value of your Disney pin and what it's currently selling for. If you're looking to sell some of your Disney pins, this is a good way to figure out how much you should be pricing it out for to be selling to everybody else. If you guys enjoy Disney videos and Disney content, definitely the subscribe button, turn the bell so you get notified every time I upload, I post tons of Disney content on this channel. So for a while now, I've been selling a lot of pins online, and at first I wasn't sure how to even go about selling them. Then I figured that out, and I've also figured out how to best to price out the pins, and that's definitely a number one question that I see in a lot of groups is how do I price out the pin that I have for sale? So today I'm gonna to show you how you can figure out the value of your pin and how much you should be selling it for. The pin we are gonna be using for an example is this 20th anniversary of pin trading Dale pin. This is a newer release. I thought this would be a good one to show as it recently came out and would be a good example of how pin prices fluctuate and what price you should go for. So the way that I price out my pins and how a lot of people price out their pins is using sold listings on eBay. So initially I go on to pin picks and I search for a pin so for this pin I would search like 20th Dale and find the pin this would give me the pin number on pin picks and like the name of the pin each pin has a slightly different name there are some that are harder to find but if you scroll through pin picks you can usually find almost any pin while on pin picks you'll also be able to see how many are looking for the pin so how many are wanting the pin and how many are trading the pin this can also give you an idea of how much to price it for obviously if one person has it and 100 people are looking for it, it will be priced higher than if there's 50 people trading it and 20 people looking for it. This can give you a general idea of how popular the pin is and how much the want for the pin is there. Then I would copy that name and put it into eBay and a bunch of listings will come up for ones that are for sale and with this type of pin where it's a series, you might also get like the Pluto, the Chip, other ones that are in the series that have come out, you might see some of those. I would then scroll down on the page to where it said sold listings, click on that and that would refresh the page to show all the prices that it's already sold for. My next thing would be to scroll through this page and figure out, okay, so we saw on the last page how much people were listing for and this page would tell us the different prices that it's being sold for and then we'd find an average range of which price we think would be best. So you kind of want to take all the different prices and average out to figure out which one's the best. So for this one, there's a wide range of different ones you can see. Some people are selling them for much higher prices. There's a lot of in the 20s, especially the low 20s. There are also some that are higher up in the 40 range, um, but there is a general range around the mid to low 20s. So looking at that, it seems like a good price would be between $22 and $25. This is generally, you can tell some of them include shipping, some of them don't. So a lot of times these prices that you choose are before shipping, but this is generally how you can figure out what a good price is. Another website you can use is WorthPoint. However, this website you need a subscription to and some people want to if you're selling a ton of pins it might be worth buying the subscription I personally don't have a subscription to it but it does give you a lot of different prices of recent sold and what the pin would be worth so that's just another option of something you can look at and the final option that you have is to just figure out what other sellers are selling it for if you see other live sellers there's lots of sellers on instagram and facebook if you see a pin that you have in your collection for sale and somebody's selling it in the group for fifty dollars maybe you should be selling it close to that if you see a bunch of people selling it for ten dollars and you're selling it for thirty you might want to rethink your pricing and move down to ten dollars so it's definitely seeing what others buy generally when a pin's first release it's going to spike in price initially and then it's going to kind of even out to what a price it should be. Obviously LE pins go for more than open edition pins but you also want to be aware that some older pins are worth more and then some older pins lose their value so it's really interesting to see which pins are different. Once you start selling online a bunch you will get a feel for how much a limited edition pin should be versus an open edition pin and based on their different sizes of limited edition and how rare that pin is you will get a feel for how much you should be selling it for. So I hope you guys found this video informative. Definitely leave me in the comments down below if there's any other ways you figure out how to price out your pins. If you're interested in any pins that I have for sale, definitely check out my Instagram. I have a post on there with the different pins I have for sale. And I hope you use this technique to help you figure out how much you should price your pins for. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!